Good morning. It is March the 12th. Daylight savings time here in Canada. So, um, just came out to look in the garden. And we have peony action. Now, if anybody's not grown peonies before, you need to make sure that your crowns are just at ground level because if you plant them too deep, they will grow, but they won't flower. So that's something I learned by mistake because I did mine and put them in way too low. And yes, we almost have a daffodil. Almost. Almost. Look at all the spring bulbs. Oh my God, it's going to look so exciting soon. Oh my. Lily's coming up. Spinach is doing fine. I don't see any... <laughs> don't see anything eating the spinach so that's a good thing so far more bulbs coming up holy crap a doodle man got a gajillion bulbs see look no oh, crocus first full-on crocus man and if anybody knows why they're doing this broccolis are doing okay they're happy i thought but the edges of the leaves are turning yellow. Now, it shouldn't be because of lack of nutrients because this soil is absolutely full of nutrients. So I don't know. Anybody has a clue? Let me know. Thanks. And we have radish lift off. These are white icicle radishes. So all good. Yay! Spinach looks fantastic in here as well. Perfect. Let the growing season begin. afternoon it's the third sorry that's the ducks coming back it's the 13th of march i can't believe march is half over already and i just came out because there's one of my flower seeds that have to go in the fridge so this is my list of what to sow and when that's from the bc area and then this is my flower list and one of them black button has to go in the fridge for five days so um, I can either do some of them inside or I can do some of them outside. It's all dependent on what's what. I've not done a ton of flowers yet. I've done my marigolds. That was about it. But I got lots of stuff I got to get started on. I got to get off my butt and start doing some flowers. Um, hmm. The inside flowers is missing in action. So it must be over there somewhere. So yeah, I got to get the black buttons out and put them in the fridge for a week. Anyway, not doing much today. Absolutely stunningly gorgeous at the moment. It was pouring rain this morning. But uh, marigolds over there haven't done anything. Peas are not doing anything. The leeks have been potted on. Um, blue sweet peas have come up. I'm not very happy with those. I'm not buying anything from Baker Creek anymore. I don't mind their vegetables, but I always have problems with their flowers. Uh, I spent a fortune on black Cosmos, chocolate Cosmos. Barely any of them came up. I'm holding my breath that they don't all die. And these are the marigolds and nothing's come up yet. I don't know if that's a marigold there or not, but it's the only one. Oh, there's a couple popping up back there. So maybe I'm getting marigolds soon. These are from Saved Seed. Um, and this one's the RHS seeds I bought. So... And down there are some more sugar snap peas. They haven't come up yet either. So that's okay. Oh, here's my flower box. This is my flowers. So I got to get all these done. And yeah, that's about it. Where is she? I'm right here. One more? Hey? One more? One more what? Row. Yeah, one more row. Okay, ready? Keep it up till you get it flat, huh? Okay. Yeah, hang on. Which end do you want? The middle? Oh, we're going to do it very far ahead by the camera. All right, the camera. What? what, what? Just slow down. I got to not walk on the gravel. Whoa. That's okay. Right there. Okay, down, 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 down. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Camera off. Okay. You take the camera off. Yeah. <sighs>
There we go. And you can go check out your fish. Last one. All done. Now I just gotta clean the floor. Yeah. And then the walls can get started. Uh, you gotta put gravel around. Here. It's a lovely sunny day. I'm trying to do something light, seems that we did all that uh, decking this morning for the slabs. So just sitting here sifting some more soil. I'm going to put them all in the old compost bags that I've got there. But I know everybody complains about their stuff, but look at this. I mean, these are just rocks and sticks and that's out of one, one scoop in here. That's all it came out of there. It's fine. I keep it and put it in the bottom of pots that I may be putting flowers and stuff in that don't really care that they've got some sh shady stuff at the bottom. But uh, yeah, so yeah. Okay, so I don't know how long it took me because I forgot to put the timer on, but I suppose I could check and see when the first one was. This is hard to see. It's a. Ooh, I missed a piece. It's a quite a bit of soil it's nice it's fluffy it's got no sticks and stuff it's got a little bit of the it's not perlite i don't think it's the other stuff this rock stuff still got a little bit of that that sneaks through but um it breaks up pretty good so it came out of a 14 liter pot through sivzilla and that is all the garbage that came out of it so i would say just over two thirds of it's good soil and just under one third of it's crap. But the crap I've decided because I'm gonna grow my squash in giant pots this year. Um, I grew them in giant pots last year, but I'm gonna grow more in giant pots this year. I'm gonna empty the pots out and put this crap stuff, which is crap as in it's sticks and stuff, in the bottom of the pot because it won't do any damage, but it'll help with drainage, things that they're in pots, etc., etc. So that's the plan now. So onward and upward, I got two more of these 14 liter pots to do. Don't know if I'll do them today or not. Okay, now I'm not gonna bang on about compost and shitty compost companies and whatever, whatever. Um, but this is soil that we bought from the garden center in bulk. And as you can see, it's gorgeous. It came out of, I'd say there's probably a 10 liters because it came out of an 11 liter pot. That is all the stuff I'm keeping. And that is the piddly bit that came out of it. So way different, less than 5% of it is stick stones and other rough material. So it just goes to show you sometimes buying in bulk is better than buying in bags because it's different uh, breakdowns, I think. Anyway, that's it for compost con conversation. Note to self, when you are sifting dirt, don't do it when it's soaking wet because it's mud. So I'm just gonna leave this one here in the beautiful sunshine to dry out a little bit and then finish that one maybe tomorrow. So far I've got about just over half a bag of really nice so soil and I will uh, get back to you tomorrow. Have a great night, bye. Would appear that something has been at the squirrels occasionally we get this big clumps of fur we have a lot of eagles around here um none today that i can show you but yeah we have a lot of eagles and owls and things that get our squirrels when they feel like it okay so finish the soil sifting oh move that out of the way i wanted to i've been watching a few new youtubers as you know, I try to, I'm not a huge channel, but I like to make sure that new people starting out are encouraged to keep growing. And I've noticed a trend of, I need to get it all done today and it has to be perfect. Nobody, nobody, even Charles Dowding never started out with a perfect garden or finished it all in a week. So if you're YouTubing and you're gardening, then always remember that we all started out with one viewer, usually our husbands or our spouses or our best friends or our moms. But yeah, enjoy gardening. Don't think that it's gonna be a humongous endeavor in the first month, the first week, the first year. Enjoy it, have fun. 
grow a few things, grow lots of things, but just enjoy gardening. That's what it's all about. I've always said gardening is good for the soul. It's good for the heart. Growing food is just a bonus that comes out at the end of the day. So I will stop nagging on at you all. I will post my video probably tomorrow because I don't really have a lot else I'm going to do except for some sewing. But yeah, please don't stress over having a giant channel right off the bat. It's all got to be what you want and what you enjoy. Have a great week, everybody. Stay safe.